We just finished up a massive electrical install and upgrade into this truck camper. But the owner of this rig wanted the advanced monitoring features of the Serbo GX with the Touch 70 touchscreen display. So I'm gonna retrofit these advanced monitoring features into our pre-existing system, and I'm gonna show you how you can do it too, because it's really easy. I screwed the Touch 70 mount around a hole I drilled in the wall and fished the wire from the back of the Touch 70 display screen down to where the server would be installed and snapped the Touch 70 into place. The other end of that wire goes to the HDMI port and the powered USB port as noted by a USB lightning bolt on the servo. For the servo to components connections, the ports are pretty clearly labeled on each component. So I'm just going to show you the connections we made in an illustration since space is very limited in this installation. The MultiPlus VE bus port to the servo VE bus port with an RJ45 cable, both MPPT solar charge controller VE direct ports to the servo VE direct ports, and then the VE direct port on the back of the BMV 712 gauge to a servo VE direct port. Finally is the power connection from the servo to the last two studs of the Lynx distributor. Red to the positive bus bar and black to the negative bus bar, and that's it. Now our servo GX is connected and our touchscreen should start to go through the startup process. With the Touch 70 working, here's the settings that we are going to change. In general, we're going to connect to Wi-Fi, scroll down to Wi-Fi, and connect to a local Wi-Fi network, and then back out to firmware, and update the firmware as necessary, back out to VRM online portal, allow VRM two-way communication, then back out, go to display and language, we're going to turn show boat and motorhome overview to on. That will give us some extra settings on the home screen since we are in a camper. Scroll down to units, change our temperature to Fahrenheit, back out twice. Oh, actually in display, you can turn the display off time to a shorter time. This means that when you click on the display, it's gonna stay on for 10 minutes. Uh, I think that's too long for most of us. Uh, usually 10 to 30 seconds is where I like to have that. I'm going to back out. In system setup, we're going to change AC input two to not available since we don't have two AC inputs on our MultiPlus. We can see that our battery monitor is being auto-selected, which is our BMV712 via VE direct cable. We need to turn has DC system to on since we do have a DC fuse block. And now we're going to back out all the way to the main screen. And we can see everything is working here. It's working great. You know, we're inverting power uh, to actually power the lights that are filming this video. A rate of 75 watts. We're charging from solar from both of our solar arrays at a combined 140 watts. Uh, we're using about 30 watts of DC power and our batteries are 100% full and the solar is taking care of everything. Now there's all kinds of other fun things you can do in here. You can go through and you can uh, you know, for example, change the uh, the name of the smart solar charge controller if you like by going down here to device, and then you can change that right in here. One name, and then everything will show up on the front side, all customized to how you want it to look. And there's all kinds of different features and stuff that you can do with the Servo GX, but at its base level, we now have a really nice touchscreen display that we can see where all of our power is going. And we can also turn our MultiPlus on, off, charger only, anything like that, right from the touchscreen display, as well as change our input current limit to limit the amount of power coming from shore if we're on just a standard household outlet, or we can turn it up to you know, 28, 29 uh, amps if we're on a 30 amp shore power service. 
And that's really pretty much all we have to do to get one of these up and running into an already established system and things are working wonderfully. Now we have a fully functioning advanced monitoring system in this camper that's showing all of our stats. And it was really easy to install, probably only took me 30 minutes. Now if there are any other features of the Serbo GX that you'd like to see me cover in future videos, leave those suggestions in the comment section below and I'll see if I can cover them. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.